Yeah, yeah, what's up? Did you see this? We have to share the gong today. Must be checked. Yo, have you heard of CSES? I think so. Yeah, they had their Frostbeat conference recently, and they talked about the sort of different positions they have, like on council and exec. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to run for something? Yeah, the nominations are coming up in February, so I was thinking uh, of starting to get ready soon. What are you going to do? Uh, I was thinking of uh, VP Gong Protection. Ah, uh, that's sick. Man, I'm still waiting for my Ecore 10 10 grade. Yo, I feel you. I'm still waiting for four grades in line. But you know what to cheer us up? Winter coffee night coming up February the 4th. Ah, oh, that's sick! We gotta make sure we get a table with C Edge. Yes. Yo, you, me, winter general semester meeting, January 28th. Be there. Done. What? Ding dong, we stole the gong! Show! Hello, everyone. I'm Erda. In this special gong show broadcast, I will be interviewing our FYIC delegates. Hello, delegates. Hi. Hi, Hi, everyone. Yo, what's good? So first off, what is FYIC? F. Y. I. C. Is. The. First. Year. Integration. Conference. Yeah, so FYIC is a first year conference hosted by ESCO that's targeted at first years, obviously. The main purpose of it is to help uh, first years get more involved in their engineering societies by learning more about how they can get involved at a provincial and uh, local level. Very interesting. Okay. In a few words, what inspired you to apply to attend this conference? Uh, I was, uh, I'm new to Ontario because I'm from British Columbia and I found out that there's going to be this conference hosted in Toronto which would be a, an amazing way to learn more about the like engineering society in Ontario and to meet like a, a bunch of other different schools and of course to see Toronto itself and I was just in love with the idea of traveling and also just hanging out with these amazing people. Um, and, <laughs> and uh, also Abby and Kim, and yeah, that's basically why I applied. Wow, very nice. What were you expecting it to be like? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't think any of us really knew what to expect. Like, 100% going in, like, we knew, we knew it was a conference, obviously, so we knew we were going to meet some new people, learn some things. But uh, I don't think any of us really expected that it was going to be as good as it was and like as professional as it was. I kind of thought it was going to be like a kind of like joke high school conference thing. But it was actually like really well done. All the speakers were really professional and we all learned a lot. Yeah, with that, don't be afraid to try new things that you're not too sure too much about. Did you just yeah. say that? <sighs> that moved me. What were some of the conference events? Basically, the, um, the sessions that we were able to attend, there were two we could choose from, and one of them always uh, followed the theme of something related to stream societies within the school, and the other one was always related to professional knowledge, like how to write a resume, or how to start, like, make your own startup, uh, or just leadership within your own company, right? So, uh, basically, what Abby said when she was sending us to these sessions were, you have to have at least one person in each one, so we always, we, we didn't really argue about it. We always want to go to different sessions anyway, because we're a well-rounded, diverse group of people. <laughs> so that's what happened in the day, and then in the night we had some social events so that we could go and network with other schools and uh, talk to them and, you know, distribute some patches. <laughs> and try and steal mascots. <laughs> yeah, I stole a moose. Now that sounds like a hoot. What session did you find most interesting or useful? Some of our favorite presentations, one of my favorite ones was the pranks and tradition one where we learned about the prankster's code and we tried to follow it as we tried to steal some mascots. We also learned that other schools uh, have cubbies or as we call them flight suits and other schools outside of Ontario collect scarves. We also learned the need to update traditions in order to uh, Keep them uh, current with, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, we like, to update we, traditions in, in order to make them more inclusive to everyone in the, in the community, basically. Yeah, we yeah. want to make sure that everybody feels included because our degree as engineers is pretty freaking difficult. So if we can come together and support each other in these endeavors, like we're more likely to finish this strong. Maven and I really liked the diversity presentation. It wasn't really a presentation, it was more of a discussion. We did case studies based on my minorities. 
and uh, how we can improve that in our own inner societies. Yeah. Um, basically, after we reviewed the case studies, we spent like 20 minutes discussing what what it covered. Basically, it was really interesting to hear everybody's point of view. Nice. Uh, I really liked the leadership panel, which included our own Logan McFadden, uh, and basically just a lot of the presidents of uh, engineering societies from other schools basically talked about their experience and uh, going on like the whole diversity spiel. Uh, a lot of them were like there was a girl who was a president of uh, the the Ryan Society or something like that, and it was very interesting to hear her story and um, basically how she overcame some of the adversities. Okay, moving along. Which car is better, Nelly or Lola? All right, Lola's car is definitely the best car because Abby's A, a super stellar driver, and B, it is a tiny car, but man, she's mighty. We got so much stuff in the trunk. Lola's car also analyzed like every truss on the way there, so you know, worn with verticals. Crap. <laughs> I like to first, before I start my spiel, point out the uh, error my colleagues over here have made. They just said it was Lola's car. Lola is the car. Lola cannot possess herself. <laughs> We are one. So, we are one with Lola. One. That already discredits their entire state. No, my anyway. esteemed opponent is mistaken. So anyway, <laughs> reasons the why car. Cam's car and Ellie was better. See, so you notice how I did that correctly. Oh So, my. first one, okay, on the way back, we had the gong, okay? And on this road trip, we stopped at the gong in many esteemed places, such as the sign of the schwa in Oshawa, and the Big Apple, and that was it. But it's okay, at the Big Apple, we Keep fed the gong some apple it. fritters. That was, it was really it. good. Yeah, I like that one better too. What was your biggest takeaway from this conference? All right, so some of our biggest takeaways from the conference were networking. We talked a lot about the importance of making connections with other people to further like your resources in order to accomplish tasks and things like that. We also um, we learned a lot about when to say no. As delegates, we're all pretty involved in the Carlton community so far, and. Um, like a lot of times we kind of tend to overcommit ourselves and it's really important to take a step back and like notice when we're feeling stressed and kind of examine where we need to drop activities and like when to say no to picking up new activities and that that's okay to take that step back and kind of look into what's best for ourselves. Um, we also took away that thinking about startups is a really good idea, like especially as outcoming students from um, university and into the workforce, it can be very valuable to start working with a startup because you're going to gain a more diverse work experience and you're going to gain like, you're probably going to be doing, some, doing something that you feel more passionate towards because you're a part of a smaller company. And then finally, we talked a lot about updating traditions and examining our biases that we have towards other people in the engineering community. So a lot of like times we need to update our mindset because I mean, engineering wasn't always a super inclusive field to go into and we've made a lot of like really big strides to change that and I think we're only going up from that so we just need to continue on to like examine where these problem areas are and do our best to remove them. Okay, what is the secret to protecting the gong? I was in charge of the gong because I was the youngest. Be focused. <laughs> Don't let it out of your sight. Yeah. Sleep with it if you have to. And I slept on it. on it. I slept on it. <laughs> Cam Davis, I hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell that to anyone else. What piece of advice would you give to someone attending their first conference? Um, advice that I'd have for somebody would be to network with everybody. So like that includes the speakers and Ooh. students from other schools as well. Uh, I would say one of the most important things is to ask a lot of questions during the presentations. The presenters have a lot of knowledge that they're really willing to share. Having fun is important. Meeting new friends from like other schools and making those connections is really important. Documenting your experience as well, just make sure that you actually remember what's going on, you know? Yeah, because a lot of the reason <laughs> there is to like help bring the knowledge back to see edge. so you want to make sure that you've kind of stored all the knowledge somewhere, so when you come back, you can uh, like continue on. To give back, make sure that you actually like do things. I don't know, we are here right now, thanks to Keely, shout out. And um, And Erdo. And Erdo. And Erdo. And Erdo. He's a hoot. But yeah, we, we also like did an article in the Iron Times, so like really just doing our best to like get that information out so that other people can use what we've learned. It's really important. Well, <laughs> my advice would be you gotta make the most out of it. Like when I arrived, it seemed like when we arrived at the hotel, it seemed to be a little bit slow, but once the first ice breaking activity started, the fun just kept going. Yeah, yeah and talk to, talk to everyone. Don't like stick with your own little delegation. Just go make new friends. They're mm -hmm. amazing people. Mm -hmm. Everybody's super nice, which is good. Wow, thanks for all the info, delegates. 
This is Erdem signing off on The Gong Show. Have a great second semester.